She supposed him to be the gardener. When Mary came to the garden where the Lord had been buried, we read that, that she was distraught. She came and looked in the tomb. She saw two angels there, one at the head, one at the foot, where the Lord had lain. But they didn't interest her. Most of us would be fairly well distracted if we saw a couple of angels. <laughs> But nothing could distract her from the fact she wouldn't be satisfied with angels. She would only be satisfied with her Lord. And she turned away from them. And she saw a man standing and she supposed him to be the gardener. Well, she wasn't far wrong, was she? You see, the first Adam, he was made and placed in a garden. And God said, the day you eat of that tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you die. And not only would Adam die, but death would pass upon all men. So that the first Adam, placed in a garden, turned this garden of a world into a graveyard. The Lord Jesus died at Calvary, and we read the place wherein he was crucified, there was a garden, and they took the Lord Jesus and they laid him in a new tomb in a garden. But the Lord Jesus turned this graveyard of a world back into a garden, so that for the believer, we're not buried, we're planted. The Apostle Paul uses this idea of planting seeds as a picture of what God is going to do with us. In the light of the resurrection of Christ, how will it affect the believer? And he says, we are sown in corruption, raised in incorruption, sown in dishonor, raised in glory, sown in weakness, raised in power, sown a natural body, raised a spiritual body. And so every time a Christian dies, and we lay their bodies away in the ground, they're not buried, they're planted. In other words, there's a hope, there's an expectation. The seed that goes into the ground isn't very much to look at. Nobody paints pictures of seeds. They paint pictures of flowers. The seed itself is a rather ugly looking little thing, just a little wrinkled black or brown item that doesn't look like much at all. But in that seed, there is a life that will burst forth in fragrance and beauty and fruit. And so we plant it in hope with a view to something. Oh, Christian, we're not much to look at when at last it comes time to bury us. Some bodies wasted away and crippled and uh, damaged by disease. But that's not how we'll come out of the grave. And the, the Lord is trying to draw a comparison here between the little seed and the beautiful flower or the beautiful tree that comes from that seed. And he says in the same way, what we go into the grave with, it just, it's just a little wrinkled seed compared to what's going to come out. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed.